Okay, we're here with Jake. He is we're playing back. with his DC-10. I already filmed another video, but... Jake, what are your first thoughts and opinions of the DC-10? Uh, well, I've been able to drive it for a handful of weeks now with Kevin's car, and I really like it. It's a really cool car. It's definitely got loads of potential, but the, the, the biggest limiting factor at the moment is just the front-end geometry, and I think the AE knows that. At least I've been told that they are aware and they're working on it, or at least working on like the ball set situation. So. Just watch their first day AE like aluminum upgrade is going to be the... Uh the right version of a bell crank. Yeah, that would be nice. I hope so, <laughs> going in this way, so that way, that'd be cool. Because then you'd have uh, adjustable Ackerman a lot easier. Oh, way easier. Although yeah. it, hmm. Well, no, because they could bring it back. They could do it like Rev D style, yeah. where it comes back Yeah, because it just, yeah, it's kind of, it just mounts like right here. Well, you can see where it mounts, like right there and right over there. Yeah, so we were just noticing a little bit of Ackerman issues. But other than that, don't mind the huge magnet stack. <laughs> um, when I was driving this car, it had a lot of forward traction. Like, yeah. a lot, a yes. lot of forward traction. So that's good to see, just on a brand new chassis. Yeah, literally. It's, I didn't do anything to the rear end. It's just basically how the kit says to set it up. Um, I don't remember what the kit recommends for camera. I just went to negative three. That's what I always run uh, here at PDX. And it just worked out great. So. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Sorry. 